Uh, I'm Shamla Gadkyo. Uh, I'm the chair of the EV Charging Infrastructure Working Group for uh, TTF. The uh, group was is quite newly set up. Um, uh, it was set up uh, two years ago. Um, and the aim is really to help the local authorities develop a unbiased um, uh, sort of um, strategy and uh, distribution of EV charging infrastructure across UK, uh, making sure that there is a collaboration between uh, not only themselves as a public uh, body, uh, but with private sector and with communities. Uh, making sure that uh, accessibility, affordability, um, and, and, and sustainability is uh, achieved. In November, we published our procurement template. We have been uh, sort of working on the next template, uh, which is to do with site selection and consultation. The template that we uh, published in uh, November basically uh, allows the local authorities to uh, look at different uh, commercial models uh, that are available for them to use while procuring a charge point operator, for example, uh, along with list of different uh, legislations, regulations, and also frameworks. The main uh, objective for this year now is, like I said, uh, we will develop a site selection and a consultation template. Uh, we will also look to grow our working group database and uh, we will make sure that the representation is across the, the uh, country really, rather than just certain parts of the country, if you like. First of all, by uh, developing these templates, it is making sure that the local authorities easier or uh, there is an accessible document for them to uh, sort of quickly have a look uh, and get an overview of how they can accelerate their um, not only uh, uh, procurement process, but we did a starter guide as well as part of this working group, not in 23 but in 2022, uh, which gives them uh, quick guide, uh, guidelines as to what they need to do. Uh, we are advocating regulations and uh, supporting adoption of green and safer transport options. Again, working with LAs or working in creating documents for LAs to make sure that the strategic policies are developed and existing guidance on things like accessibility regulations such as Pass 1899 is embedded within their uh, electric vehicle charging infrastructure rollout document facilitating then dialogue between uh, you know themselves being the government bodies but with um, uh, industry uh, and uh, hoping to sort of develop this element uh, bringing in some uh, uh, academic institutions if you like communities you know it is it is basically looking to grow the uh, collaboration between different uh, stakeholders um, and that is the biggest aims of TTF. One of the uh, main missing representation in our group is fleet operators. It will be really useful to have fleet um, operator representative maybe even to be part of the group and be involved quite actively because it is so important that local authorities take into account when they are designing their um, charging infrastructure, particularly on-street charging infrastructure, that they uh, keep in mind um, what the fleet operators' requirements are uh, because you know that very much is is, is very crucial. Mm -hmm.